Laura Frieda, and my background is I've been in the tech industry now for over 20 years. I decided to pursue STEM because I just loved innovation. I love technology. I saw where it was going and lots of room for females. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And I found it so intriguing and interesting that for me, it was easy to go about and, and sell folks that support technology. Yeah. And that's what I do. I have a staff of, I'd say about 90 employees. And my 90 employees are out at various different pharma companies. I would probably say about 50% of them are more STEM related, and the other 50% are more, you know, program related, project management related, and they work on various different initiatives. My job is to manage them, okay, and manage the expectation with the clients. Some of them are on projects, so in other words, when there's a project, we provide a project manager and the staff under them. Some of them are just on a one person project for a year. So my job is to really manage the contractor's expectations and my client's expectations. Mm -hmm. So I'm in touch with both the employee as well as my client. So what do you think is the coolest or most enjoyable part of your job? Oh my gosh, the innovation that I see and the, on the folks on my staff and the projects that they work on. What advice would you give to an aspiring female tech entrepreneur? I would tell them to you know, get out there mm -hmm. as much as you can and talk to folks and network. Yeah, that would be definitely. the best solution mm -hmm. out there. Okay, You have to want it, so you have to get out there and network. Yeah. Okay. And keep yourself, you know, updated and but you got to get out there and you have to work hard.